Hello there, I am Giant Crow with more Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we took on Leaf 4, the fourth member of the Leaf 4, Trick, the master of dragon type Pokemon. We uh, one shot basically all his Pokemon except for Altaria, <laughs> so it was really easy. I have Smokey up front, my Torkoal. Let's take on the champion, Steven Stone, master of steel type Pokemon. So let's walk in and talk to him. Welcome, Steven. I was looking forward to seeing you here one day. You, what did you see on your journey with Pokemon? What did it? What did you feel m meeting so many other trainers like you? What has awoken in you? I want to. I want you. I want you to hit me with it all. Now bring it. Oh my god, this music is so good. I like it a lot. It's like one of my favorite champion musics of all time in Pokemon games. <laughs> champion Steven like the battle, of course. It's Steven versus Steven. Yeah, he starts off with the scrum, it's level 57, cool. Let's go for the flamethrower. Let's see how much that does. He always he does 20 HP on Smokey. The flamethrower hits though. So that's not too much damage on Smokey, so that's good. And we want to kill it, awesome. Nice. Skarmory! Yeah. So yeah, it's Metagross is next, okay. We, um... Guess we can try another flamethrower. He's already going with the big guns, you know, Metagross is level 58. And Gendulous, that's cool. And then, uh, his Skarmory was level 57 and, uh, female, I think. If I didn't, if I didn't already say that, but... I could be wrong on the gender, honestly. So let's go for the flamethrower. It's gonna use Psychic on Smokey, okay. Yeah. Dang it, it does a lot of damage, you know? This Metagross is like... You know, it's gonna be in the thumbnail, basically. And it's his best Pokemon. Oh man, I should use a different item. Okay, it's gonna use a Sitchin Spray, that's good. That way it gets out of the red zone, and hopefully it doesn't use a full store. But then it's faster than my Torkoal, so... uh Should I... I, I wanna try to heal, just so I don't faint. Just so Torkoal doesn't faint. Just so Smokey doesn't faint. So let's use a Hyper Potion. Yeah, there we go, nice. Oh, it's gonna use Earthquake. Oh, I forgot about Earthquake, jeez. Okay. Yeah, okay. Is there a chance I'm faster than? Nope, of course not. Although Psychic may not faint Smokey, so we'll see. Of course it faints Smokey! Oh my gosh, this Metagross is so intimidating, you know? Okay, so no Psychic, so Metroid is gonna be... Yeah, because Metroids have poison, it's gonna be super effective on Metroid then. Yeah. I guess my best bet would be either Geico or Twitch. This is like, I'm gonna go for Twitch, I guess. Let's go for. Oh, wait, yeah, does it have any. Yeah. Let's go for the Shockwave, I guess. Now it's gonna use a four story. That's just great, you know? Ah, man. Dang it. Oh, well, it's gonna get the four stories out of the way. But, yeah. Maybe I can paral- Maybe, maybe Twitch can paralyze this thing with Shockwave. How much will sh uh, well, Isn't Shadow Ball neutral because it's, you know, psychic and steel? Yeah, it's neutral, okay. Medium ashed. They could. Medium ashed and hit. How much does a psychic do? Gosh dang it, I, I, I just... Ah, it stinks. And Meteor Mash is super... Meteor Mash is just super powerful. Try Shockwave again. I like... This Metagross is so hard to, to be if you don't have a Fire-type Pokemon, really. Well, there goes Twitch. I can already tell. Yep, I knew it. So we can go to Geico then. Let's go for the Dragon Claw, see how much that does. It's not very effective. Of course it's not very effective, jeez. You always have to be a pain in the butt. <laughs> this Metagross is no joke though, it's sweeping through my team here. Critical head, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, this sucks. I half my team has fainted. Let's get the surf. Ah, 
Okay, fine, whatever. There goes the Metroid, okay. Not there goes the Metroid, there goes the Metagross, I mean. Kraydol would stay with the Metroid, I guess. I would hate- I don't really want to use revives if I don't have to, but... If I have to, I guess I have to. This Kraydol's level 55 and genderless. Oh, man, again, there goes the... Jeez, oh my gosh, now that was fucked up. Switch bomb. Now, at least it's getting the four stories out of the way, you know. But, the thing is that it had, that's it fucked up or whatever it just used. So it raises a defense or special defense. Jeez, oh my gosh, it's just ice beam. I hate this cradle, I hate it. Light screen, no stop using light screen, jeez. No, it raises special defense, of course. I'm I'm tempted to just send out fighting use a brick break on this thing. And break the white screen. If I have the opportunity to do that I will. Agron, yes I do have the opportunity to do that actually, nice. So Agron's level 56 in male. Let's go for the brick break. It's gonna use Earthquake on fire, hopefully it doesn't knock it out though. We're one level higher, fighter's one level higher than it, so that's good. Yes, it's gonna take care of that stupid, uh, white screen on fuck it or whatever, so that's good. And then it goes to Agron, cool. Okay, again, it's Almodo. I forget what is super effective against this Almodo. I guess I'll stay in, but it could be a big mistake, honestly. Let's go for the Brick Brick, I guess. Alias, okay. Uh, I'm gonna hope that Brick Brick can faint it, but I could put it in the reds. Ah, oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, one HP, wow, wow. And of course, we should have, I should have healed when he healed. I should have healed when he healed, jeez. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna use a four story because uh, you know, you know, a uh, fighter is at one HP and has well over um, 200 HP. So I'm gonna use my own four story. Uh, this is the time where I actually use a max potion, but I don't have, I didn't bring any in with me. They're not, yeah, I don't have any max potions in my bag. I have them in my PC, but not in my bag. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, go for the facade to weaken it down a little bit more. Yeah, there we go, nice. And then use a brick, another brick break. Uh, you cover. Oh my gosh, the model knows it is, of course. It's kind of intimidating, but brick break should faint it. But we'll see what happens. It goes down. Awesome. Cradelli, okay. I'm gonna switch to uh, Metroid because I think Cradelli is grass and rock type, so uh, I guess, uh, so, you know, ice type moves will be super effective, I guess. Cradelli is level 56. Let's uh, go for the sludge bomb first, though, to wick it down a little bit. Confuse Ray, of course. We're gonna use Confuse Ray. Well, luckily, I have a yellow fruit. Ha, <laughs> sucker. There we go, nice. Droid snapped out, confusion, good. That's what we wanted. Okay, let's choose, let's choose another sludge bomb. Okay, now I think we can use uh, Ice Beam and hopefully faint it. Because it's, it's used, escape, uh, used, <laughs> it used Ancient Power twice there. It took out um, half of Metroid's HP, but yeah, it's super effective but it go and it goes down. Awesome. Nice. So we defeated Champion Steven. Awesome. I, the champion, fall in defeat. Kudos to you, Steven. Thanks. You are truly, you are truly a noble Pokemon trainer. Thank you. It's for 11,600, 11,600, uh, dollars, pocket dollars, yeah, okay, cool. Congratulations, the feeling you have for your Pokemon, and the Pokemon that responded to those feelings with all their might, they came together as one and created an even, even greater power, and thus you were able to grasp victory today. You're right. You are rightfully the home, the home region's new. Oh, look, it's May. Steven. Here's some advice before you challenge the champion. 
She's all confused. She's all shocked, actually. And she's like, huh? What, 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 what? I think I added two extra what to that. It's only like three what's. Yeah. I just, uh, coughed a lot, so. Yeah, I, I'm gonna probably jump. I'm gonna cut that out, actually. I was coughing a lot, so in, in editing, I will edit that out so you guys don't have to hear me cough. So yeah. Anyway, Steven, could it be that? It's already over. Professor Birch says, See, what did I tell you, May? Didn't I tell you that you don't need to worry about Steven? Steven, you've finally done it. When I heard that you defeated your own father at the Pitbull Gym, I thought perhaps you had a chance. But to think you actually, you actually became... But to think you've actually become the champion. Ah, yes. What became of your Pokedex? Here, let me see. Hmm. So you've seen 144 Pokemon, and you've caught 27 Pokemon. Some Pokemon only appear in certain areas. You have to be persistent. Anyways, that's that's my grade on my Pokedex right now, jeez. Anyways, congratulations. Now go proudly into the final room. Nice. Steven, you know the new champion. Come with me. Okay. I'm sorry, but from here on, only those trainers who have become champions may enter. You have to wait outside with the professor. Groan. I'm just joking. That's okay. That's the rule. Steven, honestly, congratulations. Thanks, May. Appreciate it. I appreciate your kind words. This room. This is where we keep records of Pokemon that prevailed through harsh battles. It is here that the League Champions are honored. Cool. I like this machine we got here. Come on. Let's uh, come on. Let's record your name as a trainer who triumphed over the Pokemon League and the names of the partners who battled with you. Awesome. Saving, do not turn off the power. Okay. Torkoal, New Hall of Famer. Skarmory, New Hall of Famer. I should say, yeah. <laughs> Skipped out, New Hall of Famer. Tentacle, New Hall of Famer. Hariyama, New Hall of Famer. And Grumpig, New Hall of Famer. I was actually gonna, you know, announce their nicknames, but that's okay. They know what they're talking They know who, what I'm talking about. And who I'm talking to. Yeah, League Champion, congratulations. It took me, so I have a 17 hour, 70, 72 hours and one minute. Nice. So if you think about it, uh, there is, um, 74 hours and a day, and three days, cause 12 plus 24 is 48, plus another, um, 24 plus hours, 28 plus, 24 plus 48, that is, uh, 52 72 so it took me three days and one minute to get to become the league champion wow that's crazy only three days in a minute oh my goodness yeah because 72 hours is three days so yeah it's cool I like this music. I remember my Pokemon, original Pokemon Ruby, Redo Walk the Guide. I, not Redo Walk the Guide, but Walk the Guide. Um, I like, it was when I edited it in Windows Movie Maker and I used like, uh, the credit, one of the credits text of ways. And I made my own little credits and that was pretty fun. I will be doing the after game stuff such as catching Rayquaza and the Veggies and, uh, Wadios too. But other than that, I think that's all I'm gonna do. I, I think you can do like the Battle Tower or something. The Ruby and Sapphire. Maybe that's only in Pokemon Emerald. But I know Pokemon Emerald does the Battle Frontier. I like how it shows like pictures of your Pokemon that you've caught. It's pretty cool. But I enjoyed this project a lot. There's definitely more to come for this project. Um, I won't release a hint for on my next project. I'll release my next hint. I'll release the hint for my next project on my on the actual finale of, uh, this, um, this, uh, project, yeah. Because the finale will probably be, probably be me catching, a uh, Latios. So, yeah. So, there's still some more parts to go with this project. And then there's also going to be the finale, like, catching Latios. Because in Ruby, you catch, you can catch Latios. And then Sapphire, you can catch Latios. So, yeah. And I think in Emerald, Pokemon Emerald, you can catch both. I think one yet the one you don't pick, though, from red or blue Pokemon that you see in the sky, um, from your from your house, you choose like which one you want to catch in the wild. The other one goes to a moon, goes to an island. I think you need the Eon ticket or something. Uh, I know Chicken County has it, but uh, 
uh, I forget what it's called. The e-readers. It's I think it's like the e-reader, and you have to get the certain ticket to go to the island to catch all the, you know, Wadios or Wadios, the one you didn't pick to uh, catch in the wild from in Hoenn. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't think I don't think I can catch Jirazi or Deoxys because those are event Pokemon too, and the events are way over for that stuff for those two legendaries. I'm pretty sure. I guess if I use like a cheat code, I could, uh, I could uh, um catch it because I'm using an emulator. So, yeah. But I don't think I want to do that. I'll just pass on it. So, yeah. So we got the three veggies to catch. Rayquaza and Latios. So that's five legendaries right there. We may even catch more than that. I think that's... Oh, that's uh, other than like, Crowd and Kyogre, I think the other five legendaries to catch are the three veggies and then Rayquaza and Latios and Latios. So, yeah. But we're coming close to being home and stuff. Back in Little Town, basically. So yeah. Nice. The end. And there we go. Starts the game back up. Awesome. So yeah, this is definitely not the finale episode or finale part. So finale video, I should say, of the project. Yeah, the turn of radios will dry. However, the clock-based events will no longer occur. Yes, I know. Okay, so we're back in our room. So, um, I guess we can go to item storage right here and deposit um the. the the um, PPO storing items like the Max Ether, the Max Elixir, the Max the Ether, the Elixir. So we didn't actually need them, so that's good. Oh, that's good that we didn't need them, so that's good. Yeah, okay. Let's put all these away. Is there anything on the PC I want to take out for items? Um, I don't think so. So we're good, actually. So I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah. This wasn't all a dream, so I don't think it was all just a dream. It was real, guys. It was real. It was real. Yeah, so yeah. So this is my Pokemon we Redo Walk the Redo Walk the Good Part. Next part will take on the after game stuff, starting with unlocking the Reggies. I already have my Whale Word and my Relicant ready in the PC. So yeah, all I have to do is fly to Pacific Walk Town and we'll go from there. So yeah. So this is Jacko again. I would like to leave a goodbye. And I hope to see you guys next part of my Pokemon Ruby Redo Walkthrough Guide. <laughs>